what is the implication of the new COVID protocols for international students traveling to the UK for their bachelor's, master's or doctorate degree? What are the COVID guidelines that have been handed down by the UK government? What are the implications for international students traveling to the UK for studies? Are you interested in this topic? Do you want to know how this affects you? Then you are in the right place. I'll be right back. You know the way I do it when I drop lyrical Anytime I spit lyrical, philosophical All the niggas mimical, but they stare still On ticket literal, punch lines collateral Hello, Chronics! How on a day? How is everybody doing? Are you having a good day today? So like I said in the introduction The new COVID guidelines handed down by the UK government what are the implications for international students going abroad to study? Is that going to limit your going to Scotland, England, Wales, or what is the third one? Ireland. Is it going to limit your travel to these destinations? What does this mean? Now, let's get into it. The UK runs a traffic light system as regards to managing the COVID-19 pandemic. They run a green, amber, and red traffic light system. So what this means is, if you are traveling to the UK from outside their travel zone, you're going to be run on this traffic light system. If your zone is in the red district, or if you fall under the red requirement, then it means you're going to be subject to stringent scrutiny as regards to the COVID testing. And your chances of coming in to the United Kingdom might be very limited, okay? In fact, there are even countries under the red requirement that are banned from traveling into the UK. So you might wanna look down at the link below in the description section to find out if your country is in or outside the red line or the red district as they call it. Now, if your country falls under the amber restriction zone or what they call the amber requirement zone, then what you would do is to quarantine yourself when you get into the United Kingdom. So you're going to be put in a hotel and you're going to be watched for a period of time in which you're going to be tested continuously to make sure you were not positive and you were indeed negative for the COVID-19 virus. Now, if you are in the green zone or the green requirements, then when you fly into the United Kingdom, you're not going to be placed on quarantine. You come in and you go about your business. Whether it's work, or whether it's studies, you just come in and you move on, okay? Now, from August the 2nd, the United Kingdom has relaxed the requirement for people who have been fully vaccinated from the US and the other countries in the European Union. Okay, so now what this means is if you are in the amber list of countries in the United States or from the United States or in the European Union, then when you enter the UK, when you enter the UK, as long as you can show that your COVID-19 status is negative, you don't need to be quarantined, you can go about your regular business. Okay, but but this only is for people traveling to england it doesn't cover people going to scotland ireland or wales okay it's only for people traveling to england now from august the 8th from august the 8th this new policy also covers people traveling to england from france Okay, this covers people traveling to England from France. Now, there's also a way in which if your country is on the amber list of countries, you could also literally come into the United Kingdom and go about your 
regular business, whether it's working in the UK or studying in the UK. Now, if you fill a form, it's called, I think it's called a time for release form. I think I got that correctly. Now, what this means is you fill out a form before you travel to the United Kingdom that authorizes the authorities in the United Kingdom to test you on arrival. Did you get it? To test you on arrival. Now, what this means is if you test negative and you're from an amber listed country, you can go about your business of going to the university for your studies, bachelor's, master's, doctor, whatever it is, or going to work if that's what you're there in the UK for. Okay? Now, you need to get in touch with your university, the university you're going to study in or the university you're returning to, to find out their guidelines. The guidelines you're using to operate when it comes to planning or containing the COVID-19 virus. So if you are a new student traveling to the UK to get whatever certification you're out there for, whether that be your bachelor's, your master's, or your doctorate degree, you need to reach out to your university. You need to reach out to your university so that they can make provision or know where you're going to be staying when you're undergoing your quarantine. Okay? Now, if you're a new student, there has to be this onboarding period, and yours might be done virtual, so it might be done online. So your school needs to know, and you need to take into account the quarantine period. Now, the quarantine period is going to last till the time when you test negative, if you are positive, or to a period of time when you've been watched to see that you are asymptomatic and you're also negative. So this period of time in which you're going to be in quarantine, your university needs to be notified. They need to be notified that you are not going to come directly to the university so that they can make provisions for you. Okay? So I hope this video has been able to inform you on what you need to do to cushion yourself from the effect of the COVID-19 guidelines being handed down by the UK government. So I want you to take the information that I've put out in this video to plan your travel if you're going to the UK to work, study, or live. If for more information, like I said before, check down the description for the links to read up more on these guidelines. Now guys, do not forget, go down, subscribe to your boy's channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it valuable. Turn on your notification bell so that whenever we drop new videos, you're notified and you can catch up on the information we're sharing at the time. Follow us on Instagram. So if you want to ask questions, you want to get up close and personal with me and ask me questions about traveling to the UK or traveling to any country, I'm going to be able to respond to you immediately. Comment down below if you have inquiries or you have questions about what we've talked about in these videos and i want you to be good i want you to be safe and i want you to live your best life out there okay i'll see you all on the next one bye bye for now